morning morning it's good to be back well you guys didn't know that but I took like a week off during this 4th of July week no no filming did some fishing but no filming at all it was a nice break it really was um, I hope you enjoyed your fourth uh, weekend and during the week hope you caught a lot of fish but today I got something in the mail Friday got something in the mail on Friday and I thought you know what this would be a great challenge video here's what I got in the mail it's a tiny micro chatterbait it's a really it's like a metallic chartreuse but I thought this would be great we're actually in, we, it's July 8th right now but there's some crappies still in deeper weeds like 12 15 feet of weeds and they're they're biting on moving baits they're biting on search baits, so I thought, you know what, let's do a challenge video on this. It's micro chatter bait. So here's here's the challenge rules. I think I'm gonna do it the same way I did the micro crank bait. I'm gonna try to get seven fish in the live well, seven keeper fish in the live well. That's gonna complete this micro chatter bait challenge. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed your break. I enjoyed mine. It was nice just fishing and not filming. Um, don't worry, I got a bunch of videos coming coming out after this one. I hope you're enjoying that How to Find Fish series. If you haven't seen those videos, I'll leave a link to the uh, the playlist below. I think I got three of them out there right now. Um, I, I have two more coming within the next week in that series. So I hope you're enjoying that series, learning a little bit. All right, let's get on the water, start fishing with this micro chatterbait. Let's go. All right, so there's some, I can actually see a tree sticking out of the water. I don't think I've been to this part of the lake, this lake before. Or I don't think I've fished this part of the lake before that I'm on right now. But I decided, you know what? Black and chartreuse was pretty good color most of the spring, even into post-spawn mode. So I'm gonna stick with that on this uh, metallic chartreuse chatterbait. It's about a two and a half inch little swim bait here and then I'm gonna load it up with some slab sauce give it a nice little scent any advantage I can give myself I'm gonna take it okay just I don't know if you can see this but there's actually a tree right here super clear water and the crazy thing is we're in about 19 feet and there's a tree sticking up so I'm gonna cast out over this. Looks like there's a bunch of fallen fallen trees here. Let's get out of here. Spot number two. It's still pretty early in the morning yet, so. And actually what I'm on right now is, it goes from 13 feet, 13 feet to about 20 feet and there's weed lines that go right to the brush pile, or that go right into the brush pile. What? There's a fish. There's a crappie. It's deep, it's 16 feet down. I don't think this is gonna be a keeper. That's like a, uh, that's like a seven, eight inch fish right there. Looks like they, he's right on the, where the weed line meets this, these man-made brush piles. They're right on that edge, about 16 feet of water. Ooh. They're getting deep for these tiny lure challenges. All right, I anchored up. It's just too much work to stay on them with the trolling motor, so this will be easier. Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh no. Dang it. That was probably like a nine inch crappie. I don't know if he would have counted though. He was right below the boat. I gotta put some fish in the boat here. It's starting to get later in the morning. What do we got? It's already 9.30, holy smokes. God, how'd you hear it? It's been like an hour already. That's not good. There's a fish. There we go. 
crappie. Decent one too. I'm thinking this will be a 10 inch one to go in the go in the bucket. Ooh, is she it's gonna be close. Easy, easy, easy. That's gonna be a close one. Gonna be darn close. Oh, just barely makes it. It's like 10 and an eighth. Just barely made it. 10 and an eighth. One fish in the box. All right, one in the box. Six more to go on this tiny lure challenge. Not gonna lie, I could, I could deal without the wind today. I'm not a fan of it right now. There he is, there's a fish. And, well, it's a crappie, but I don't know if he's gonna make it. I think that this is a short fish. Short fish. Ouch. Ouch. Yeah. That's an eight inch fish right there. That's not gonna make it. Caught a few fish now. I'm gonna juice this thing back up. Put a little more, more sauce on her. Go catch some slabs there, buddy. Whoa, that's a swing and a miss. There's, there's a fish. About time. Maybe? Oh no. Well, he came off. Just lost a borderline fish there, I don't know. I think he was, uh, he was like nine. The goal is to keep seven, 10 plus inch fish. That's the, that's the challenge. But this is gonna be tough today. I might be out here a while. I'm gonna switch up colors too. I think they're just seeing the same black and chartreuse. I gotta change it up. All right, what should we pick here? You know what, let's let's get a little weird. Pink and chartreuse, let's try that. I don't know if it's gonna work, but why not? There we go. Spray a little, spray a little scent on there. Gotta have the sauce. There's a fish. Wow, crappie. Crappie. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, he's gonna be close. I don't know. I don't know what do you think. I think he might be short. He's nine and three quarters. Hmm. Do I count it? Do I not count it? Today's been what? It's going on two hours and this is only the second closest keeper I've caught. I don't know. We'll count it for now, but we'll put an asterisk by that. I got one, one and a half. All right, I got one and one and a half in the box right now. Put an asterisk by that second crappie. It was nine and a half, but I don't know. The way this day's going, I might not get four 10 inch fish. Oh, there's a fish. Yep, that's a good one. Feels like a decent one. Staying down, maybe. These are all just borderline fish right now. Just borderline crappie. gonna be close. Ah, oh, he's probably good. Yep, 10 and a quarter. It's two and a, it's three fish with an asterisk. Let's see if we can call. We can uh, get, get an actual 10 inch fish on that last one. All right, we got three in the box. 
three asterisks. One's, one's a little short from my 10-inch uh, goal. Hoping to replace that one with a 10-inch fish. I seem to be catching them every five casts or so. And there's just no consistency to them. Some of them, I'm just catching some where I'm casting into 16 feet of water, some I'm casting into 10 feet of water on this break. I don't know. There's just no consistency to where they're at. I think they're just moving around right now chasing bait fish. Honestly, I think, oh, there's a fish. Jeez, he almost knocked it out of my hand. I don't think he's that big either. He just surprised me. He's not, he's only like a eight inch fish. Little guy. Whoo, she's windy today. Let's see if we can get another one off that. There's a 10 foot weed line right there and then it, there's like a hole or it's like a bare spot from like 10 to 12 feet and then the weeds pick back up from 10, from 12 to 15, 16 feet and then it drops back into this brush pile. The bigger fish have been, I've caught, have been deeper water. They haven't been up this shallow, but I'm just trying for anything right now. There's just no consistency to them. There's a fish. It feels a little better. Is that a bass? What is that? I think it's a walleye. That is a walleye. Well, I hope I got that on camera. It was a walleye. It was like... Well, I'm thinking the uh, bite's turning on. I have a bunch of bass breaking water out in front of me in deep over like 20 feet of water. Just caught two small crappie, or one, one small crappie and the 14, 15 inch walleye. So wind picked up, I don't know. That might be something. There he is. Finally. Um, it's a crappie. He's going to be close. He's going to be close. I think he'll measure though. I think we'll get the 10 inch fish out of this one. He's going to be real close. But I think he's going to work. By the nose. By the nose, it's a 10 inch fish. Four in the box. One. Gonna go with the blue and white, switching it up. Put that guy away. All right, got that for you, the acre cable. I'm gonna go 20 more minutes on this, and if I don't get, if I don't get my seven, it's gonna be a challenge fail. Starting to get some more ski boats out here. Just not a fan of huge waves. Oh, there's a fish right at the boat. It's a big bluegill. Well, not that big, actually. He swiped at it. He missed it. Got him in the head. That's an odd place to... Oh, I got him in the nostril. All right, well, that's gonna wrap it up for the tiny lure challenge. Unfortunately, it's a challenge fail. I only caught four fish, or I only put four fish in the box. One was a short, so there's an asterisk by that. But I did manage to catch a few 10-inch crappie. These are gonna be my lunch for today. So, thank you for watching. If you like these challenge videos, be sure to give that thumbs up. I can't, I can't do a thumbs up with the crappie in my hand, but be sure to give me a thumbs up. Let me know you like these, ch these uh, challenge videos. I will keep doing them. Also, comment below if you got any challenge videos you want me to do. Tiny lures, different stuff you want me to try. Comment that down below. And if you're not a subscriber, below the video, there's a red subscribe button. Be sure to click that bell. You gotta click the bell. The bell is the new subscribe button. So you gotta click the bell. It notifies you every time I post a video with some of these guys. And if you don't want to do that, at the end of the video, you'll see my face holding a crappie. You can click on that as well. I appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time.
on another challenge video. See ya.